Well, this doesn't. This definitely doesn't feel like my first year coaching after this series going on. I tell you what, I'm uh, just unbelievable. Um, so many things to talk about. So many great plays. Um, I mean, Ray Allen was just. I mean, he was hitting shots. It was unbelievable. I mean, just guys hitting shots and Derek making plays and Joe. I mean, it just there's so much to talk about. I don't know where to start, but just so happy. Uh, way our guys fought, you know, uh, it looked good for us. It didn't look good for us. It looked good for us. It was just going back and forth. Uh, you know, just so many great plays out there. Um, so just start asking questions because I don't know where to start. Uh, Coach, can you evaluate Rose's uh, second half in the overtimes? Um, you know, I thought, uh, you know, Derek was solid all game. Thought he had a great first half. Thought he got a little bit, um, um, made, a, made a few turnovers there that hurt us. Um, in, the, in, in the fourth and overtime, trying to make, you know, passes in the paint a little tight. But, you know, he's, he, you're gonna, you got to live with that. I mean, he's, he's a rookie, and he's got he's to learn, and he's got to fight through it. But, you know, everybody that played contributed. Um, you know, John Salmons was, made a lot of huge plays. I mean, he was just phenomenal. Um, so, um, you know, Derek's just going to continue to grow and learn. And I thought he played really well the first half, second half. The turnovers hurt us. But... Um, you know, you always have to know where he is on the court with his athleticism. Vinny, were you second-guessing yourself at all, not fouling Allen? I think it was in the second overtime. We tried to foul him. Actually, we told Lindsey to foul him, and he hacked him right in front of us, and they didn't call it. So, um, you know, so uh, you know, if you, if you foul him too hard, if you don't foul him hard enough. So, you know, we wanted to foul there. We had the three-point lead. You know, put him on the line with two and then getting a free throw contest there. And the way Ray was shooting it, we definitely wanted to foul. Um, we just didn't execute it well. And, and Ray hit a, you know, a great shot with a hand in his face. And, um, you know, that's what great players do. Vinny, this series is already historic with the four overtime games. Is this the best series you've ever been part of or even witnessed? Well, it's definitely the best series I've ever coached. <laughs> um, but... You know, playing is different than coaching, obviously. Um, but, you know, I had a lot of great series, uh, you know, when I was playing with San Antonio and things. But, you know, nothing with these overtimes and guys making the shots they're making and the plays they're making. And um, just uh, just so happy and so pleased with our guys to just fight through it, um, make plays when we had to, uh, get some stops, get some rebounds, but just believing, you know, just committing to each other, trusting each other, and finding a way. You know, uh, like I always talk about here, there's no excuses. You have to make plays. And, uh, you know, what I told him in the timeout is, you know, how great a job is this? I mean, you know, just to be able to play basketball and be in these situations, and this is what it's all about. You know, it's, it's what it's all about. As, as a kid, you dream about it, putting yourself in these situations. And, um, you know, I told the guys, take advantage of the opportunity. And uh, uh, there's no pressure. There's nothing. If you're prepared, the pressure goes away. And I know our guys are prepared. So um, they're playing with confidence. We're still making too many mistakes, but, um, you know, that's going to take a while probably to go away, uh, the mistakes that we make. And, uh, um, but it's a process, but I'm just pleased with the way the guys fought. But can you talk about how you, you, you kind of... All right, I'll be honest. I dreamed about that as a kid, too, but I always at least <laughs> made one of them early and got it over with no more than one overtime when I came through. Poor Vinny looked hung dong, didn't he? He's going to have some gray hair up there after a while, I'll tell you. Better have a no hair, series. baby. <laughs> uh,